Hey everybody, it's Sherpa Rage, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Amphrex. So, this is the first of my build breakdown videos. I finally got around to getting to actually do them now. Uh, things have been a little bit hectic, a little bit chaotic, so there will be more regular updates. So, all my Warframe uh, fan people, you know, who actually, you know, like watching these videos and everything, look forward to more of them because they will be coming more on a regular basis. I'm going to be shooting for at least a video every Thursday. So, just uh, FYI on what my uh, schedule is going to be looking like. Uh, at least one video uh, update per Thursday uh, with potential for streaming and other clips uh, kind of be thrown in the mix. So, um, kind of a breakdown of what the Amprex is. The Amprex is a chain uh, sort of rifle, uh, chain lightning rifle, really. Um, so it's electrical damage. Uh, it's a held trigger. Uh, status is really good. Um, that's why I build it as a, a pretty pretty high status chance weapon because it does have a, a decent status chance. Uh, reload, it's a little bit higher, 2.7 uh, seconds there. Uh, 100 uh, round magazine there. Or, uh, the ammo on this is a little bit weird, too, on the consumption, so um, that may seem like a lot to you, but once you actually see uh, the in-game play of it, it'll be, you'll kind of understand what's, what I uh, mean by that, because it is a higher fire rate, too, 12.8. Uh, it is, the nice thing about this, though, is status, status is pretty decent, but this is definitely a crit chance gun. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I love the crit chance weapons, because crit weapons, to me, are just freaking amazing, and especially if you build them right. Um, so this has a 99% crit chance, actually, which is pretty insane because it's one of the ones that I have that's not over 100, <laughs> um, as in terms of that can be built to be over 100. Um, accuracy is 12.5. The crit multiplier is 5.6, so that's pretty decent. Anything usually above, like, 4 for the crit multiplier and... Uh, depends on the gun, really, because I have some melee that have 40% crit chance, and for melee, um, it's pretty viable. I, I, I'm okay with 40%. I usually don't do anything less than 40%, uh, but if I can get it really above 50% crit chance, then that's really what I'm kind of be uh, shooting for, is above at least 50%. So uh, I'll jump in here, kind of show you what we got going on the build. Uh, so... This is a three-formed weapon, so a lot of my weapons are going to be multiple formas on them. Um, I do want to try to get each weapon at its sort of max potential. Um, so I know some weapons I don't focus on as much, and some weapons really make no sense to. Like the Mark One weapons, I don't really care if I form of those or not. I probably will never form of those. Um, but yes, I do want to have at least give each weapon a chance to kind of blossom in a sense by giving it multiple form and many as many form as it needs to do a build that I think is viable or fun to do on a weapon. So um, Amprex, this one took three. Uh, we gave it two V's and a bar, of course, for the highest cost. We got split chamber and serration. Those are pretty standard on you know any rifle gun. Um, then we wanted to bump up that electricity, so we get Stormbringer and High Voltage. Nice thing, of course, with High Voltage, you also get that Status Chance, upping the Status Chance as well, so the Dual Stat mod's very nice there. Uh, then we have the bottom row. This is going to be our Crit Chance, pretty much. Uh, so we've got Critical Delay, which is great, ups the Crit Chance, and lowers the Fire Rate, so we do have a little bit lower rate of fire, which is uh, very nice in my opinion, especially with this gun. Um, then we have a, a rank 1 point strike. The reason I did this is to give it that 99%. You could, if you wanted to, bump that higher. You would need another Forma. As you can see, I'm at max capacity right now uh, with the rank 1 point strike there. So it's really kind of up to you how you want to do that. Uh, in my opinion, though, 99% crit chance. That's pretty damn good. I mean, there's that 1% chance you're not going to crit, and at that point, I think it shouldn't matter, because at the rate of fire and everything with this gun, you're probably going to be critting anyway at some point, so it's the the odds of not critting are, are pretty pretty low, so... Um, yeah, so we do have that. That gives you the 98% crit chance, and then, of course, lower fire, uh, fire rate there. Uh, vital sense for crit damage, obviously, and then we do have hammer shot for crit damage and the status chance as well. Um, so hammer shot with the high voltage stack in there for more status, which is pretty good. So 62.1% status, that's not bad. I mean, it's above 50%, so that's just kind of an added bonus to the crit damage that you're really going to be focusing on. So, um, I mean, it's not a high amount of damage to begin with, but hey, you got a 5.6 multiplier. You're going to be almost always critting. Uh, status is not bad either, so... Um, I will go ahead and jump in and show you guys uh, the play style um, that I like to do with it and everything, and you can see uh, how viable this build is. 
All right, so here we are. Just gonna be running Zini. Uh, even though they changed it, I do like the newer Zini. It's a definitely uh, different than the old one. Uh, but all in all, not bad. <laughs> so let's see. Get some enemies here. Yeah, you can see those crits right there. Very nice. Uh, that's gonna be really what you're gonna be focusing on, of course. Because status, yeah, you, know, you might see it every so often with that 62.5% chance, but uh, it's really just trying to get a feel for it. And of course, it does arc from enemy to enemy. So a high status chance gun that arcs and does uh, substantial damage, I'd say, at the very least, is is very nice. So the Amprex, in my opinion, is one of the, I'd say, better weapons. It is, you can see, though, at almost, uh, there we go, there's the 100 round clip that's been obliterated and that's uh, one full wave there so that's not bad and of course right now I have nobody with me I do have my Kubro uh, which has six format as well actually on it which is pretty much the ultimate Kubro build <laughs> so yeah something like that when they're clustered it's very very good for infested because uh, especially defense missions they're gonna be all trying to gather around the pod so um, really great too if you have like a Voban with a Vortex you know uh, just anything crowd control wise, especially when you can cluster them, it's, it's just phenomenal. You can see sometimes you crit for low, like now uh, there's some 43s in there. Uh, and that one I think was just proc in there. There you go, that's another round down. Oh, hey there. I don't <laughs> Yeah, it's got uh, it's got pretty decent range. I think it falls off. It's more of a yeah mid to closer range weapon for sure. Um, but definitely, if you're doing a defense, you're not going to be worrying too much about range because you're going to be trying to stay as close to the, as close to the pot as you can. Now, it's not necessarily crucial in a dark sector defense. Uh, for those of you who know, uh, dark sector defense are different than any other map in the sense that their XP is actually distributed uh, map-wise and not radially. So you could literally literally be at any point in the map and you're still getting the same amount of XP as if you're right next to it. So dark sector defense is really great for doing that um, in terms of uh, if you want to run a lot, just kind of run off to your thing. It's not exactly advised, but, you know, Hey, kind of if you want to do your own thing, it's it's really up to you and, you know, your party's discretion. So it's really good. If you're playing with friends and they, they know you're going to be off kind of doing your own thing or you're like a, you're kind of like a high solo, um, high viability solo character, like a, an Ash or Rhino kind of thing, um, Loki, you know. There's, I guess, technically any, any frame can really be a, a good solo one. But there's just some that are, uh, especially Rhino in my mind because he's just, uh, he's just so ridiculously built. Like his abilities are very good. A lot of people play him. Um, I, I I don't say it doesn't take any skill to play Rhino, but at the same time, th there's there's not as much fun in it for someone like me playing Rhino as opposed to playing pretty much any other Warframe. <laughs> yeah. And, it de like I said, it depends on your team right now. We're getting a little bit more scattered. I'm not getting the full clusters because they're definitely kind of picking apart. Oh, look, another Oberon. And Oberons are definitely more... Uh, oh, he has a Krakata. Very nice. Krakata is a very good weapon, in my opinion. Poor man Soma, but hey, he's got that status chance. Soma ain't got that. There you go. There's some, uh, some good crits here. And you can see this is a pretty pretty quick gun as far as like uh, shooting through ammo and well, distributing damage. So it's uh, it's fair in that sense that if you build it like this, you're going to be doing pretty decent damage, and it's going to be kind of a bit of a. But that uh, you can tell though, like how fast I'm shooting through ammo right now. Um, if I didn't have uh, the critical delay on, it would be a lot. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's kind of the build breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be doing uh, more, like I said, tried to do them like every Thursday on the regular now. So, uh, yeah, uh, subscribe, you know, to my videos if you like. I'll be doing them more regularly. I will also be doing some Smite videos uh, as well as branching out. I will be doing streaming for uh, various different uh, games. I've been trying to mix it up here a little bit. Um, so, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I appreciate all the views.